welcome to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast, where intelligent living is paired with signature style. I'm your host, Shannon Abels. And whether you're listening on your commute, exercising, working in the garden, or sitting down with a hot cup of tea or a cafe au lait, thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Welcome to the 261st episode of The Simple Sophisticate. Now, today what we're going to be talking about are the seasons. As we know, the seasons are going to be shifting here next week on the 23rd. For us Northern Hemisphere dwellers, we are going to be shifting into fall on the 23rd and spring in the Southern on the same date. And so I thought I'd bring in some inspiration from a book I recently read, recommended to me by a reader, that fit this theme perfectly. Before I dive into that book, though, I want to give you a hint as to what this week's Petit Plaisir is. It's something that I recently did for myself upon my move, but it doesn't have to be for that occasion. It can be for any occasion, and it's a way to record ideas, preserve events and history, and also just offer inspiration as you look forward in your life in any arena that you truly enjoy investing in. So I'm excited to share with you what that is. And um, let's get into today's episode. So I want to begin with a quote from the book that is titled A Home for All Seasons by Kristen Peers. And she writes, a home should reveal the personalities of its inhabitants. At its best, it should be a portrait of who you are. Look at your house as an artist would and have fun creating vignettes as a painter would a still life. Now, I recently had the opportunity to be a guest on the Synced Life podcast with Kristen Maneri, and I've provided a link to it on the show notes, but one of the things we talk about, we talk about the entire concept of living simply luxuriously and cultivating a well-lived life, but one of the things we talked about is nature and how the changing of the seasons is a consistent and dependable way to be present in our everyday lives. So it's there around us. It's a matter of paying attention to it and just being aware of it actually enables us to be present more easily. So by choosing to be present during each season, we are acknowledging that its presence in our lives is evanescent, fleeting, and in three months time, we'll transition into something different. Now, not all of us have Um, the opportunity to have all four seasons. Some of us do not want all four seasons, understandably. Um, But either way, we technically still have four seasons, whether it's the shifting of the holidays and the shifting of routines. We do have that shift that we can acknowledge. And when we realize that we're going to have to wait nine more months to experience the gifts of that one particular season, we then are made aware of the power and the gift we can give ourselves of being present. Simply knowing this reality, we have all the more motivation to revel in the gifts of each season. Last month, a Simply Luxurious Life reader, Tracy, emailed me and introduced me to the book that inspired today's episode, A Home for All Seasons. Now, it was released quite a few years ago, I think 16 years ago. But as you would imagine, since we have the same seasons every year, no matter what the year, It is a classic of a book to refer to every three months, if nothing else, to serve as a reminder for ample inspiration. And it is classic. Her ideas are, they carry over. And I saw, I found myself making notes, nodding my head and going, oh, that's a good idea. And not everything was brand new. Some of the things I'd heard about, but other things were were creative and different. And oh, I didn't even think about doing it that way. That's a great, simple way to incorporate the seasons into the home. So peers suggest that when we decorate with the seasons, revolving with them, we actually make our home feel much more alive and dynamic, but at the same time, reflective of the home's inhabitants. And in so doing, we improve the quality of our days as our moods due to our emotions are elevated with each day we spend in our sanctuary. Today, I'd like to share five ways to decorate and adorn seasonally our homes, all inspired by the book, A Home for All Seasons. Number one, let the seasonal blooms make their statement. 
whether you pick up your blooms at the farmer's market or from your yard and garden. Appreciating the daffodils in early spring, the peonies in late spring, mums in fall, and dahlias in the late summer remind us to savor them until their blooms are no more because we won't typically have the opportunity to enjoy them for another nine months. So that's a simple one, but a very powerful one and a very inexpensive one if we know where to look for the flowers. And if they're in our own yard, all the better. If they're not, (laughs) as I shared over the weekend, I went to Trader Joe's. Very inexpensive flowers, and they tend to last for a very long time. Number two, textiles from slip covers to curtains to table linens, bed linens, and pillows. Depending on what you have in your home that is upholstered, if you have slip covers, changing the type of fabric, if not the color, as well is a way to eagerly begin a new season, as well as care properly for the linens you have when they are on the out of the rotation. Gives you more time. You don't have to rush and have to wait for them to get clean. You have approximately six months, maybe nine months to get them cleaned. And that makes sure that when you bring them out, they're fresh and ready to be used. I especially enjoy doing this with my table linens. As I travel, I tend to pick up different table linens and I try to keep in mind different color schemes for different seasons. Now, right now I have a ton of summer ones because I tend to only travel in the summertime, it seems like. And that's when I've picked up my table linens, which match the season that they're sold. But I am trying to be more aware of this and shop for different colors so I can have different colors for different seasons and different types of fabrics as well. Number three, determine the focal points of each community room in your home, such as the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, etc., and change or decorate differently this focal point throughout the season. For example, if your fireplace is the focal point of your living room or any other room that has a fireplace, adorn the mantle or around the mantle or around the fireplace with particular seasonal details. It could be from garlands to simple just collection of particular collector's items that you have found, maybe all of the same thing, but in different types or styles. It's really up to you, but something to think about, and it definitely signifies a changing of the seasons. And I'm reminded that, yes, often it's easy to remember to do this for the winter holidays, November and December, but why not do it all year? Why not do it a little differently all year? And I have a feeling many of you already do. All right. Um, If, for example, another example for this one is in your dining room, if your dining room table is the focal point, which often it is, This is where your linens come into play. This is where different blooms come into play. And it can align with the seasons, often be fairly inexpensive because if it's flowers, it's obviously not going to cost too terribly much. And if it's linens, it's just a one-time purchase and you just keep swapping them out. So just some different ideas to think about with regards to the focal point in the room being what you change, not everything else. Number four, create space to contemplate the beauty of nature. Now, I love this suggestion from the book. And while the author suggests physically bringing things in from outside and placing them about the home to prompt us to wonder or to ponder nature's beauty, I think as well it would be delightful to create somewhere in the home where you can look outside and be cognizant of what season it is. So, for example... In my childhood home, my parents' home that they have in the country in Willow County, they have a sunroom. And with each season, my mom will rearrange the furniture. In spring, she makes more space for planting her seedlings. So it's a reminder that spring is coming. In the summertime, she makes room for more seeding as it's a wonderful place to soak up the sun when stepping outside due to work projects that keep people inside isn't possible. In autumn, there are different types of fall arrangements and bouquets with leaves and boughs and different things and pine cones, things that signify the changing of the seasons and the colors. And then of course, in the winter, the holiday tree is adorned for the festive wintry season. All the while, you can always see outside in this room to observe and celebrate the beauty of outdoors, all the while being inside. So whether it's a grand room like a sunroom or a small picture window that you can sit with your cup of tea, a nice reading material, or just sit with a cup of tea and relax looking outside, watching the trees change, watching the different animals come by watching the weather change, that is something quite powerful. So that's number four. 
Number five, give the bedroom special attention. While making sure to attend to all four of the previous items above for our bedrooms, having different blankets for different seasons, different duvet covers and pillow covers for the bed, seasonal blooms for the side table, always keep in mind the power of the space we inhabit, especially in such an intimate fashion as our bedrooms. Here are a few ways to welcome the changing of the seasons in our most intimate room of our sanctuary. First idea is simply to have a different candle scent for each season. This is a simple way to let you know and something also to look forward to each season. If you have more than one that you love, this is a way to make sure you get to enjoy all of them at one point during a full year. Another one that I like because we are in our bedroom a lot and it's where we start the day. It's also where we end the day is to have an intentionally framed photo or artwork that inspires us for our current dream that we're pursuing. Now, this could be as small as just a four by six frame that has a quote in it that we love, but it also could be maybe you're someone who has downsize or has a smaller space than what you have decor for and you don't want to have a cluttered home. Well, this is a great way to bring in a particular item for a certain duration and then swap it out as things change or as you focus on different things in your life. Just something to think about here because it does make a difference in our mind. And if we have the inspiration that gets us going in the right direction, that subtle little jolt can make a big difference. So that's the second idea with regards to bedroom, the bedroom and the seasons. And the third idea is with regards to your window coverings. So for example, having linen curtains is a wonderful idea in the bedroom for summer, lighter seasons, or simply having white linen, but then why not keep the same color and change the type of fabric, make it a warmer, softer, but more opaque fabric. Or if you want to stick with linen, you can then just change the color from white to something darker, more like we just said, a little warmer. So it's a way to, again, signal to you and to create the space, the warmth or the cool that you want or need in different times of year. And the last thing is your sleepwear. So from your robes to your pajamas to your chemises, all those different things, because of the temperature changes, have the different types of fabric for what you enjoy sleeping in for different types of seasons available in your closet. So number five is to give the bedroom special attention. Now, before I get to this week's petite plaisir, and today's advertisers, I just wanted to remind you to stop by the blog and check out a handful of other posts on this topic. So I have one post that's all about fall for those listeners who are in the Northern Hemisphere, but I also have a post all about spring and how to start off um, spring well with an opportunity to start fresh for those of for those listeners that I know are in the Southern Hemisphere. And then just a real gen- general post that's all about savoring the reason for the seasons. Um, those are all on the show notes. You want to check those out. And I'll provide a link as well to the book, A Home for All Seasons. It's full of visuals. It is a beautiful visual book. It's not huge as far as it's not super long, but it has, she goes through each season and shares inspirational ideas. And then she goes throughout the home and gives different ideas as well for all the different things we just talked about in the previous, uh, in this list that we just shared. So I think right now, since it was published in 2003, it's fairly inexpensive. So I think it's $14, $15, and it might even be in your library. So check that out. But I'll provide a link on the show notes to the book, A Home for All Seasons. Thank you, Tracy, for the recommendation. I really appreciate it when readers reach out and share something they loved and they think that listeners, readers, or viewers would enjoy as well on the simple submission. So for those show notes, go to the simply luxurious life.com slash podcast 261. Now, before we get to this week's petite plaisir, here are a few sponsors for today's episode. M.M. Lafleur designs a thoughtful clothing designed to make your life easier. Their collection features machine washable fabrics, adjustable hems, deep pockets, and suits that are designed to be packable. Founded by a former management consultant and the former head designer from Zach Posen, the collection marries function with form, with garments that are designed with versatility in mind so that you can get the most out of each piece. The company's expert stylists help you create your ideal work wardrobe, whether that means putting together a cap of pieces to wear every day, a packing list for an upcoming business trip, or showing new ways to wear the pieces you already own. 
Now I have had the opportunity to wear one of M.M. Lafleur's dresses. And in fact, I wore it just this past week to school. It was a black and white striped shirt dress. And I paired it with nude sandal heels, a simple little gold necklace, and it was comfortable and it worked perfectly for the style I like to exude at school as a teacher. And I'm happy to share with you an opportunity at MM Le Fleur for simple, sophisticated listeners. Right now, you can enjoy $25 towards your first purchase with the code SIMPLE. Visit mmlefleur.com slash simple for more details and to redeem this gift. Again, that's mmlafleur.com slash simple and use the promo code simple to enjoy $25 off your first purchase. Did you know that over 19 million women in the United States lack reasonable access to contraceptive methods and one third of women have taken their birth control inconsistently to save money? Simple Health believes that's unacceptable and they're doing something about it. Simple Health is all about care that fits your life, making birth control simple, convenient, and affordable with online prescriptions and free home delivery. Whether you're brand new to birth control or just tired of dealing with renewals and pharmacies, Simple Health will take care of you. Just fill out an online health profile, a doctor reviews that you're a good candidate for birth control, and writes a prescription. You can pick the birth control you want or have a doctor recommend the best one for you. Then your birth control ships to your door monthly. No interruptions. It's free with most insurance plans and starts at $15 a month without insurance. A better way to get birth control is finally here. Simple Health believes in relationships, not transactions. If you have questions, your birth control isn't working out, or you need help with cost, their patient experience team and doctors are just a message away. There's no hidden fees, just a promise of continued care. And the reviews speak for themselves. Simple Health has been rated five stars by hundreds Hundreds of women. As a simple sophisticated listener, you have the opportunity to receive a free prescription when you visit simplehealth.com slash simple. An annual prescription is usually $20, but listeners of the Simple Sophisticate can try Simple Health for free. Just go again to simplehealth.com slash simple and enter the promo code simple at checkout. I also want to mention that this isn't a replacement for routine checkups with your doctor. You still need those for your overall health, but it is a very convenient and comfortable way to get your own birth control. The Simple Sophisticate is also sponsored by BetterHelp. If there is something that is interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp is online counseling that is there for you. Connect with your professional counselor in a safe and private online environment and get help on your own time and at your own pace. You can schedule secure video or phone sessions, plus chat and text with your therapist. With licensed professional counselors in a variety of specialty areas, anxiety, stress, self-esteem, LGBT matters, anger, relationships, sleeping, and the list goes on. As well, anything that you share is confidential. If you are not happy with your counselor for any reason, you can request a new one at any time for no additional charge. Available worldwide, you can start communicating in under 24 hours. And best of all, it's a truly affordable option. Simple Sophisticate listeners can save 10% off your first month with the promo code SIMPLE. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com slash simple and use the promo code SIMPLE. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love. That's betterhelp.com slash simple and use the promo code SIMPLE. Welcome back. This week's Petit Plaisir is something that I was introduced to, I think, this past summer. And I'm someone, as you know, who likes to make lists and write in my journal regularly. And I wrote in a post, and I'll include this post on the show notes, the many different benefits of writing lists and all the different lists, types of lists that we can make that potentially could improve the quality of our lives. And one of the companies that I shared that offers beautiful notebooks is Papier, P-A-P-I-E-R or Papier, depending on how you pronounce it. And what I love, and they have all sorts of different stationery and all different things available, but it's their hardback notebooks that I gravitated for, toward. And it was because of an article I read in the, in the English Home magazine where the regular columnist shared she has a different notebook for different 
arenas of her life. So she has a notebook for her dinner parties where she keeps a list of all the guests that she has invited to different occasions and what she served. And just so that she doesn't make mistakes again or serve the same thing again or serves the the same thing again because they loved it, whatever the case may be. And it's just a unique take on a journal or diary that, and because it's hardback, it can also be kind of a record of, you know, your time in your home or that particular favorite activity that you love to do. What I decided to do was buy a couple of different notebooks and you can see a picture of them on the show notes and you can customize them. They have, oh my gosh, over 50 different designs that you can choose from for the cover. So all these beautiful artistic designs, some are abstract, some are floral, some are travel with different images that you, I mean, there's just so much. There's a few Francophile ones, but there's just a ton of different options. And then you can customize the cover and the title and you can choose the color, the font, the font size. There's a title and a subtitle space. You may just want the title um, really big, but you could also have a subtitle. And so What I decided to do is I chose three different notebooks, one for my home, my overall home. Um, So any decor that I'm thinking about, um, different repairs, things to keep track of or different maintenance schedules, things like that, that I want to keep in that book. And then I bought one for my garden. So ideas, plant names, um, when things are harvested. So for example, my peaches were harvested this weekend. I made a note of that. Um, We'll see if I can do that next year. I hope so, because the previous owners clearly took very good care of the the tree. And then the second or the third one I did... um, Based on what I just explained a minute ago, I put down for my dinner party. So again, I'm going to keep track of the menus that I've had, the people, the the, the dates, all the little, those little details. And there's just so many things you could have. You could have one for travel. You could have one for the books you've read and loved, the movies you've seen, the plays you've watched, so many different things. And it's a way that you don't want to ever throw this journal away. So it's well taken care of because it's hardback and you get to name it what you want. So I will provide a link to their site. There is a U.S. site, a U.K. site, a French site, a German site, an Australian site, and they're all linked on the show notes. The Simply LuxuriousLife.com slash podcast 261. I think, it, well, I think the journals are just under $30 each, and they came fairly quickly. I think I got mine within two weeks, and that's with the customization. So as we go into a new season something perhaps for you or maybe a gift for someone if they're stepping into a new chapter of their life, but maybe you're ready to start something fresh or new or to categorize or or keep track in a better way that's more accessible and also very inviting. So a simple luxury for you. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Petit Plaisir, where each week ideas are shared to make the everyday all the more enjoyable. Tune in at the end of each episode where I'll recommend a book, a film, a show, a recipe, anything that is a simple pleasure to satiate your sophisticated taste. And before we wrap up today, I want to send a big thank you to TJ Ish, who rated on iTunes this podcast five stars and said, love your podcast. I usually listen to podcasts, a lot of them from information. I listen to yours to remind me of all the beautiful and simple things that make life worth living. I listen for pure enjoyment. Thanks so much for sharing your zest for life with all of us. I want to thank you TJ Ish for giving us that awesome review. And I also just want to thank all the listeners who are tuning in every week or when you're able to and uh, sharing the episodes that they love, whether on social media, or on in any way, shape, or form, just word of mouth, whatever it may be, thank you, because that is why the podcast is what it is. Um, The audience continues to grow steadily and organically, and that is the best type of growth I am so grateful for. If you, too, enjoy this podcast, simply just rate the stars as you see them on iTunes. I recently did this for a podcast that I just discovered called Julia's Kitchen, and I'll share more about it in the coming weeks, but it's a podcast that's funded and inspired by um, Julia Child's estate, basically. Um, And they bring in all sorts of different people from the food industry and talk to them. But I loved it. I just wanted to thank them. And it was a simple way for me to thank them by just giving them five stars. I didn't have time to write a review at that time. But after I listen to more episodes, I'll be able to give more specific reasons as to why I love it. But I've already listened to two or three episodes and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Turned it on while I was getting my Sunday started this last weekend. And it was like listening, as we know, to the radio. Um, And it was perfect. It is on the topics that we love. And if you are listening 
to this podcast and you're enjoying it, please do rate the podcast, review it if you have time, share with what, share with other listeners what you love as it helps new listeners discover what this show is all about. And if you haven't already checked out the second season of The Cooking Show, the second episode just went live this weekend and I'm excited about episode three, which will debut in about five days. So on Saturday, it's going to be a good one and you'll learn how to clean and polish copper. It's so simple. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast, where intelligent living is paired with signature style. For more ideas and inspiration throughout the week, visit the blog, thesimplyluxuriouslife.com, or pick up my new book, Living the Simply Luxurious Life, Making Your Everydays Extraordinary and Discovering Your Best Self. You can also pick up my first book, Choosing the Simply Luxurious Life, A Modern Woman's Guide, which is available now in paperback, ebook, and audio versions on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes, or wherever books are sold. To stay caught up on the most recent episodes of the podcast, blog posts, my new cooking show, and receive exclusive news as well as an extra dose of inspiration to jumpstart your weekend, subscribe to the Simply Luxurious Life's weekly newsletter, which arrives in your inbox each Friday to enjoy with a hot cup of tea or a morning cup of coffee. Until next Monday, I'm your host, Shannon Abels. Bonjourne!